So today I'm going to talk about the best knee relief exercises for men and women over 60. So, so many of you guys have done a wonderful job of doing a number of uh, the exercise programs in here. You've saved them in your playlist and you've been going through and doing all the exercises because I can see uh, in the analytics part uh, the people doing the exercises and then who's doing them over and over and then that vi those videos are growing. So great job to every single one of you who are doing those back at home and this is definitely one you're going to want to save in your playlist if you're having knee issues and you need some knee relief. So um, in the comment section, because you guys are doing the exercises, I've been getting a lot of, you know, what do I do in an alternative of this because it's hurting my knees and I did a video of the best uh, squat exercises and their different progressions. So you always want to look for your progression first and then use these advanced strategies to help you get that uh, knee relief that you want that's going to help you complete your exercise program. So number one thing that you can start working on right now uh, to help with knee relief is start foam rolling and getting massage. Um, a lot of the time it's a range of motion issue so what foam rolling and massage will do is basically help with um, releasing the tension that's in a muscle group. So if you have a lot of abrasions uh, in a muscle group, uh, a lot of tightness in a muscle group, by getting massage it will help release those abrasions uh, it, and so that way you can get the full range of motion and it will take the strain off those joints. So say you, know, you have the tightness in the quads and you know you don't have that full range of motion yeah you're going to feel in your knees so by getting that full range of motion back that's going to help something that's worked really well for clients that the next level of that is uh you know active release or rolfing they go in and they break up that deep deep scar tissue built up in the muscles or scraping you can do with a physical therapist wheel they'll scrape a, a muscle group has extreme abrasions and it helps get that range of motion back. So definitely, number one, you gotta start implementing this year program long term. And I'm gonna tell you what, if you make a commitment to doing you know, massage, foam rolling, rolfing, ART, act release technique, and you do this for a 12 week program, it is going to make your exercise program so much better because it's gonna take the pressure off the joints and you're gonna be activating the right muscles and you're going to be able to do the correct range of motion for that and it's just going to make your quality of life so much better so that's why I put it as number one. Uh, next thing that you can do for yourself is working on your mobility. So after you release the muscles you want it, um, you want to then work on increasing the range of motion in those areas. So there's some active stretching that you can do or these are stretches that you can do first thing in the morning and first thing at night. The reason why I do it first thing in the morning is setting your body up for success for the day and at night your body's repairing and recovering so that way it's preparing you for um, your recovery at night. So some of the best ones for knee relief, uh, you could probably guess it, you guessed it, right? Well that hit the spot. It's the quad stretch. So number one, quad stretch, um, just you know, you grab hold of your foot, hold on to your foot 20 to 30 seconds lean forward slightly, use a wall support if you have to. Hip flexor stretch, another great one. Uh, you just uh, kneel with a mat on the ground, roll your hip forward, squeeze your glute, reach to the opposite knee side, pull that belly button in tight. Hamstring stretch, so many different ways to do this one. You can do it standing, you can do it lying down, uh, you can do it even uh, seated. Um, next one's piriformis. What you do is just sit down at the ed edge of a chair or a bench. You'll bring one leg up over the other, drive your hips forward, making sure you keep that chest tall, and then you'll feel a nice stretch on the side of your hip, and then your adductors, a great stretch. Um, so this one you can do kneeling from the ground, pressing out on your thigh, holding those for 20 to 30 seconds. So you want American College Sports Medicine suggests that you should stretch every single day. So. You need to start stretching every single day to get that relief in your knees. All right, uh, next one, you're like, you know what, I can't squat, I can't do this. How are you, Sheriff? Old. Squatting is important. Working your quads is important because you want to have balance in that muscle group. But in our day-to-day -day life, we're overactive in certain planes of motion. Other motions are getting neglected. So I want you to uh, do a different strategy. It's called a twofer. 
a two for, what's a two for? It's a Midwestern term. Basically it's called two for one. So basically you're gonna do two opposing muscle groups to one of the quad muscle group. And what that's gonna do is start building up uh, the weaker areas, um, le uh, less conditioned areas, and it's gonna bring balance to the, um, what's going on with the quads, the overactive muscle groups. So some of the top opposing muscle group exercises that you could do is a lying leg curl. Um, so you can use this uh, with a machine. You'll just lie down, uh, curl your uh, legs up, um, your heel up to your hamstring, calves to hamstrings, and then lower back down under control. You have the stability leg curl. Basically what you'll do is lie on your back, feet centered on the ball. You're gonna drive your hips up, curl in. Uh, hip raises, you can do them from the floor or you can do them from the bench. Great exercise for your glutes and your hamstrings. And then you've got the single leg RDL that you can do supported or non-supported. And then a lateral lunge is really great that you can do with a TRX because a lot of people are, are not working in this plane of motion on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, next thing for knee relief is find uh, less ways for impact exercises. Your joints aren't what they used to be anymore. So doing an, uh, uh, cardiovascular programs that you did in the past may not be as beneficial because of the impact. So um, every couple days, move to non-impact exercises. If you do a lot of running, move over to the elliptical, move over to the bike, move over to a row machine. Those are pretty straightforward. Last one, uh, find support. You know, go to a, a foot expert, get a shoe that is designed for how you move and give you the support that you need. Uh, find some good braces, uh, some great ones out there. Uh, Tommy Copper has some great ones not only. I find that they're great support. They have some of the great advertisements out there. I mean, one of my childhood heroes is Brett Favre. Nothing like seeing your childhood hero out there in his 50s, uh, wearing a Tommy Copper, throwing to Jerry Rice, wearing Tommy Copper. You know, it's, our athletes, our, our, our uh, childhood heroes are getting older now, and uh, so are we. So, you know what, if they're using it, we might as well use it, but my clients have used it, and they've experienced positive benefit from it. So, try yourself some Tommy Copper. I don't get paid anything from Tommy Copper, so just go and, and get the benefit from it. Uh, last thing for relief, anti-inflammatory, uh, you know, ibuprofen. That's pretty simple there. So uh, because you guys gave me so much great feedback, uh, down in the comment section below, let me know which one of these uh, knee relief exercises you didn't know about. But also down in the comment section, let me know which one of these that you're going to implement right now, because right now is the time that you want to do it, because if you don't put it to action, you're not gonna get the benefit. So let me know down below. Always give this a like because YouTube will know that you like it and it will share with other people like yourself and they will get knee relief. So uh, do it for your friends. Have a great day and I hope you get the great benefits of these knee relief exercises.